Water Clips, a video series on revenue resiliency topics for water utilities, their boards, and stakeholders. The need for a new water utility business model. To consider the need for a new business model for water utilities, we must first understand how they generally generate revenue and the challenges facing the business model. Water and wastewater utility revenues come in two primary forms, operating revenues and non-operating revenues. Operating revenues are revenues derived from the various operations of the water and wastewater system, while non-operating revenues are collected through other ways, such as system development charges, renting equipment, renting space, and so on. Although the breakdown of revenues varies from utility to utility, for an overwhelming majority of utilities, operating revenues constitute the vast majority of all revenues. In particular, sales to customers based on water use and wastewater discharge is the single most significant source of revenue for most utilities. These are revenues derived from the monthly water and wastewater charges. Revenues from customer sales can typically comprise over 90% of a utility's total operating revenues, with the remainder coming from fees, penalties, and so on. Revenues from customer sales can further be divided into two general categories, fixed and variable revenues. As the name suggests, fixed revenues are not dependent on the volume of water used or wastewater discharged by the customer. Fixed revenues typically come from monthly base or service charges. Variable revenues, on the other hand, are linked to the volume of water used or wastewater discharged by customers, derived from the rates applied to these volumes. The balance between fixed revenues and variable revenues from customer sales is unique for each utility based on rate structure design, pricing levels, and the water demand profile of the customer base. But under the predominant business model of most utilities, they are collecting much more variable than fixed revenue. When it comes to designing rate structures and setting rates, utilities usually have to balance multiple objectives. First and foremost, utilities must set rates to collect the revenue they need to operate the water utility and invest in their infrastructure. After that, utilities can and do tweak and tailor the rate structure to meet a number of objectives, including customer affordability, economic development, water conservation, and revenue stability. And this is where it can get a little complicated. Some of these objectives can come in direct conflict with one another, and even sometimes with the primary objective of balancing the budget. One common conflict is the tension that arises between promoting water conservation and ensuring a stable revenue stream to cover the predominantly fixed costs of running a water utility. Utilities can and have set relatively low base charges and high volumetric rates to send a price signal to customers to use less water. But this model reduces the fixed revenues that the utility can generate, relying more more on variable revenues, variable revenues that are vulnerable to decline as customers use less water. Because the majority of utilities' revenues are generated from sales, there is a paradoxical relationship between revenue stability and conservation promotion. This is the first of four reasons why the water industry might want to consider a new business model. If not careful, a utility that sets aggressive rates to promote conservation can get caught in a bit of a downward spiral, in which the utility needs to keep raising rates to make up for losses in revenues from conservation, drives even more conservation in response to higher rates. This is not just a frustrating model for the utility. A utility's customers are likely to get disgruntled when they use less and less water, only to end up having to pay the same monthly bill. But this is happening because the utilities themselves have the same bills to pay when the customers use less water, particularly in the short term. There are relatively few costs to the utility that decrease when there is less water demanded. Most of the utility's costs stay the same regardless of volume of water treated. Plants, pipes, and people don't go away when customers use less water and pay less money. This is the second reason a new business model is needed. Revenue variability does not match cost variability. These two issues alone would create a financial challenge for utilities in the best of circumstances. Unfortunately, though, the industry is not facing the best of circumstances. In fact, the American Society of Civil Engineers gave the nation's drinking water and wastewater infrastructure a grade of D passing, but barely. Much of the current infrastructure, which was installed decades ago, will need to be rehabilitated or replaced in the very near future. The American Water Works Association and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency agree that there is a large and looming national infrastructure needs gap. The amount of subsidized funding available to pay for the upcoming rehab and replacement costs will not cover it. Utilities will have to generate even more revenues to pay for this upcoming wave of infrastructure reinvestment. 
most likely coming from increased rates. Remember that downward spiral? Covering the costs of these needs may speed that up. Add to that growing uncertainty about the weather, which has a strong influence on customer water use, and it could be hard for a utility to plan for and collect the revenue it needs. Utilities can continue to work around the margins of their business model, but there is a real opportunity for utilities in the industry to adopt a pricing model that better aligns the cost of water to the cost of service. In the face of great adversity comes great innovation. The Water Research Foundation report, entitled Defining a Resilient Business Model for Water Utilities, outlines three potential business models that would allow a utility to recover more revenue from its fixed charges, increasing revenue stability, but in a manner more dependent on a customer's actual water use. Of course, there will be inherent challenges to adopting an entirely new business model. Communication will be critical. But regardless of the business model, water utilities can't afford to be a silent service any longer. The needs are just too great. Economists believe that pricing is one of the most effective forms of communication. A new business model could help a utility meet its operational needs and send a clear signal to its customers about the value of water service. This video was created by the Environmental Finance Center at the University of North Carolina with funding from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the Water Research Foundation.